In this video, we are going to talk about how to create uh, some types of arcs in Rhino. Uh, as you can see, we have prepared two types of arcs here, which uh, are Gothic arc and Goat horn arc. Uh, to create these kind of models, you may want to know about the tricks and the skills that you need for uh, creating these things. Uh, what are the goals of uh, modeling these kind of arcs. Uh, maybe you have a project that is a religious project or a cultural project uh, and you may want some gates for it or uh, some arcs, colonnades, uh, so you can use these uh, kinds of arcs in your project. So let's open uh, a Rhino viewport here and uh, I go to front view and I'm going to start the 2D parts and then we will uh, change it to 3D model. So, first thing that you should model is uh, the edges of the arc. So, I go to line command and create a line here and make a copy from it to the right part, for example, here. Okay, and now I draw a line between these two lines and divide it to 10 units. number of segments should be set on 10. Okay, now I have my curve divided to... Now that I've created uh, this line, I have to type L and I draw it here. Okay, so I have the middle line here. Now uh, I have to start the arcs to create that uh, goat horn arc. Uh, the goat horn arc is kind of tricky and it needs some uh, geometrical science that uh, we are going to use it uh, for this model. So I draw a circle from this center point with two units of radius. And now these two points, which are uh, our quads, uh, are the magic points that everything happens uh, from these two. So let's get it started. Uh, I want to draw a circle from this quad with the units of uh, three, point, three segments like this and again with this center point and the radius of three units here. Now I want to uh, create different layers for it so I don't uh, mix up the, them together. So I uh, select these two and I assign this layer to them and for this circle I assign this layer uh, it's uh, enough for now uh, so next step is to create a line from uh, actually this point over here and another one from this point to here and I should extend the lines to this boundary and this boundary and again to this boundary and this boundary so I type extend and uh, I choose my uh, destinations and right click and now I extend them okay and again for this one Now I have two points here and I should draw circles from them too. So I type C and hit enter. One and two. Now my arc is created. Uh, let's see how to extract the whole uh, shape from here and bring it to the right part. So I draw a line here and I use curve boolean commands from now. So I just select all of them and uh, type BO as boundary objects. So I click here to define the areas that I want to uh, be the part of uh, be a part of my arcs.
so it's created and now uh, I no longer need this uh, this bottom uh, line so I hold down shift and alt so I hold down control and shift and click on this and delete it so now I have my go torn arc I can uh, choose these circles and assign another layer to them and now you can see the process of my uh, geometrical uh, development all of them are just by uh, creating the circles at the right points of the arc so the next one is the uh, gothic arc I again need these uh, two edges here and hold down the alt and move it down here now I want to create the uh, arcs so I go to circle one circle from this center and this radius and another one with this center and this radius I select all of them and uh, again I will draw the boundaries so I type BO enter and now this is my gothic arc it's so easy to uh, create the gothic arcs and I don't want this line either so I delete it now that I have my uh, arcs I go to uh, draw some profiles for the bottom of them and then I will sweep them by sweep one rail so I move this from here to here for example like that and I go to perspective view and I hide these and I move them to the center point of my greatest now, grid uh, surface so now uh, I want to make a boundary for my uh, profile so I draw a, uh, a square by using uh, the polygon center and I put the num size on 4 and I will start to draw it here so now it's okay and I start to draw some lines here okay. now I start to draw my uh, profile so I check the project icon and I go to top viewport uh, I did uh, this project for uh, creating my lines just a snap to the grid line so uh, I don't want uh, my line to be a snap to the other uh, other um, spaces in my 3d space so I now create my profile by using polyline And then I start to uh, make some fillets uh, around the corners. So I go to fillet curves, and radius is now set on uh, 0.2. Let's see how it works. It's good. So I keep up with that. sharp and um, showing some power in the shape of my uh, arc that I'm creating so now I will do a mirror and the mirror axis is this one 
and I join them together and then I type close care. Now my profile is created and I go to perspective, make sure that is set to shaded. And now I type sweep one and I choose the rail and next one is profile. Okay, and type cap to make a closed poly surface from it. And now I go to uh, Arctic view. As you can see, I have my uh, arc created. I want to make some changes. So I again go to shaded viewport and uh, rescale it in the X axis. So I uh, hold down this um, square here and I do something like this. Yeah. It's nice. Now, again, I sweep one with this rail and this profile. Right click, right click. Um, and now click on OK and uh, type cap. Okay. And this curve should be copied to this point. So I make a copy, uh, click on it and type area centroid. And it gives you the point in the center of this object. And now you can move it from the point to this line. Okay, and again, sweep one and click on the profile, right click, right click and okay. And type cap. And it's done. Now you have your arcs. Uh, it's so uh, clean and uh, actually prepared for your uh, modeling process. So I go to Arctic view and you can see that we have our uh, arcs created here. Now I want to add some extra parts so um, let's see I go to front and I check my project that uh, is it checked or not it should be checked and I want to draw some lines here so I uh, no longer need these checkboxes here so I go to line something for example uh, here and then I start to draw some lines here for example like this I can trim them. Okay, here too. Now I uh, create a pipe. For example, uh, 0 0.3, it's, it's too large, so again,
it can do uh, both for uh, curves and for poly surface. So now I want to delete this. That's right, it's easily created. So as you can see, we have created our arcs and uh, feel free to ask any questions that you have. Um, I will answer your comments as soon as possible. Stay tuned for my other videos. See you soon.